Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on Monday the 13th of July. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he set our sins from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so is the Lord merciful towards those who fear him. For he knows of what we're made, he remembers that we are but dust. Our days are but as grass, we flourish as a flower of the field. For as soon as the wind goes over it, it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord is from of old, and endures for ever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on children's children, on those who keep his covenant, and remember his commandments to do them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 98 Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He's remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord all the earth. Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, with the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it, the world and all who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Lord God, just and true, you make your salvation known in the sight of the nations. Tune the sound, song of our hearts, the music of creation, as you come among us to judge the earth, through our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Psalm 99 The Lord is King, let the peoples tremble. He is enthroned above the cherubim, let the earth shake. The Lord is great in Zion and high above all peoples. Let them praise your name, which is great and awesome. The Lord our God is holy. Mighty King, who loves justice, you have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his footstool, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests, and Samuel among those who call upon his name, they called upon the Lord, and he answered them. He spoke to them out of the pillar of cloud. They kept his testimonies and the law that he gave them. You answered them, O Lord our God. You were a God who forgave them and pardoned them for their offences. Exalt the Lord our God and worship him upon his holy hill, for the Lord our God is holy. Lord God, mighty King, you love justice and establish equity. May we love justice more than gain and mercy more than power through Jesus Christ our Lord. Psalm 101 I will sing of faithfulness and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing. Let me be wise in the way that is perfect. When will you come to me? I will walk with purity of heart within the walls of my house. I will not set before my eyes a counsel that is evil. 
I abhor the deeds of unfaithfulness. They shall not cling to me. A crooked heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. One who slanders a neighbour in secret, I will quickly put to silence. Haughty eyes and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. One who walks in the way that is pure shall be my servant. There shall not dwell in my house one that practices deceit. One who utters falsehood shall not count continue in my sight. Morning by morning will I put to silence all the wicked in the land. To be cut off from the city of the Lord, all those who practice evil. Keep us, O Lord, in purity of heart and faithfulness to your commands, that your servants may walk before you in the way that is perfect, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading, we start the book, the first book of Samuel, the first chapter, beginning with the first verse. There was a certain man of Ramatham, a Zophite from the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, son of Jeroam, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zupha, an Ephraimite. He had two wives. The name of one was Hannah, the name of the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah had no children. Now this man used to go up year by year from his town to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were priests of the Lord. On the day when Elkanah, Elkanah sacrificed, he would give portions to his wife Penina and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he gave a double portion, because he loved her, though the Lord had closed her womb. Her rival used to provoke her severely to irritate her, because the Lord had closed her womb. So it went on year after year. As often as she went up to the house of the Lord, she used to provoke her. Therefore Hannah wept, and would not eat. Her husband, Elkanah, said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? Why do you not eat? Why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? After they had eaten and drunk at Shiloh, Hannah rose and presented herself before the Lord. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. She made this vow. O Lord of hosts, if only you will look on the misery of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a male child, then I will set him before you as a Nazarite until the day of his death. He shall drink neither wine nor intoxicants, and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was praying silently, only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli thought she was drunk. So Eli said to her, How long will you make a drunken spectacle of yourself? Put away your wine. But Hannah answered, No, my Lord. I am a woman deeply troubled. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, and I have been pouring out my soul before the Lord. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman, for I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation all this time. Then Eli answered, Go in peace. The God of Israel grant the petition you have made to him. And she said, Let your servant find favour in your sight. Then the woman went to her quarters, 
ate and drank with her husband, and her countenance was sad no longer. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah. Elkanah knew his wife, Hannah, and the Lord remembered her. In due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I have asked him of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Sing and shout for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. In the New Testament reading, we continue in Luke's Gospel, the 19th chapter, beginning at the 28th verse. After he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. When he came near Beth, Beth Parge and Bethany, at the place named, called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of the disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you, and as you enter it you will find a colt tied that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say this, the Lord needs it. So those who were sent departed and found it as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, its owners asked them, why are you untying the colt? They said, the Lord needs it. Then they brought it to Jesus. And after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, people kept spreading their cloaks on the road. As he was now approaching the path down from the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of power they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the stones would shout out. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have set us free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight. Let us pray. We pray for God's grace. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. Lord God, through your grace we are your people. Through your Son you have redeemed us. In your Spirit you have made us your own. We pray now for your church. Pray for all members of churches as we start to open them and come together again to worship. We pray that those unable to attend do not feel left behind. Make our hearts respond to your love. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for our world. We think particularly of the places where your love is not known. And we pray that we will find ways to bring it to the people there. Make our lives bear witness to your glory in the world. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. We pray, Lord, for all those who are sick in mind, body or spirit, or in any other type of need. Make our wills eager to obey and our hands ready to heal. Lord, receive our praise and hear our prayer. We give you thanks, Lord, for your forgiveness and our redemption. Make our voices one with all your people in heaven and on earth. We now keep a few moments silence as we bring to the Lord those for whom we care and are concerned. Amen. The Collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you for sharing morning prayer with me today. I do hope each of you will have as good a day as is possible and I look forward to sharing morning prayer with you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>